So where did your interest in games begin? I played a lot of games when I was a kid, actually, like throughout all of my childhood. Um, I had some cousins who had computers early on, and I used to go over and play text adventures. I remember probably I played text adventures with one of my older cousins when I was around six, and Pong and stuff, and Space Invaders, and then later um, got consoles at home, and I used to play with my sisters too. And um, I also got into robots when I was a kid and building robots with Lego Mindstorm and using, um, I got an Apple II and using the computer to move the robot around and get it to do certain tasks. And so I got into computers also then. And it just kind of came to me, I was like, well, some people get to make these games. There are people making them, so why not me? It seemed like an awesome job. So then from that point on, like maybe I was, I was maybe like, 16 or 17 at that point. I was like, from that point on, I, I geared my career to get a degree in computer science and, you know, focus on uh, becoming a game programmer to get into the game industry. What is your favorite game or genre and uh, what are you playing right now? Well, my favorite game uh, of all time is a really tough question because there's it changes, you know. Uh, but my favorite game in the last five years has been Resident Evil 4, um, which I totally love. I love fighting games because I think like that's the most fun to play with friends, and um, <laughs> I, I like the action-packed adrenaline kind of thing. Um, but I also like you know any games that do something different. You know, like uh, Katamari um, was really different, and I appreciated that. And Loco Roco is like one of my favorite games to you know that I've played on a plane. It's good for when you're doing a lot of traveling like this. Um, and right now, well, when I get, it's hard to play games while you're traveling like this. But uh, when I get back home, I plan to finish Bioshock. That's so, how did you get into working for Ubisoft? Uh, well. When you make games, each game is a really big part of your life. For example, I've been working on Assassin's Creed for three and a half years, which is a huge time investment, and especially if you're a producer. You know, it's not that relaxing. You're at the office a lot. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of people on the team. And, um, and so when I, you know, we all knew that the next generation of consoles was coming out, and I really wanted to pick the right project because it is this huge investment and I wanted to work on the kind of game that I would be passionate about and the kind of game I like to play and I wanted to work with a fun team. So I actually went around to a lot of different studios and met with a lot of different people. Uh, you know, I went to London, I went to LA, I went to um, Vancouver, everywhere to talk to people and see what was being thought of. And when I met the core team from that had just finished Sands of Time and I talked to them about what they wanted to do next and what they were focusing on, I was like, I've got to move to Montreal and do this because it's going to be amazing. And I was super excited. So, But what had you been working on before? Um, well, I started out my career as a programmer at Sony. And before that, I had done internships in games. I worked on some uh, Crayola games for kids uh, at IBM. And at Sony, I worked on a lot of their, uh, like, more mass market, like small games that use their IP, like Jeopardy as a programmer. And then I moved to EA um, and there I was, well, I moved into management at Sony and then I moved to EA as a producer on The Sims Online and I worked on that. That was uh, for three years and then after that I worked at a game startup because um, I'd done all these big companies like Electronic Arts and Sony and IBM and I'd done an internship at Microsoft too so I went to try out a little company that was trying to make games on their own and I did that and the company ran out of money and um, then I moved to Montreal to work at Ubisoft. How is it being a producer on one of the most anticipated games? It's really exciting. Um, you know, we had all of these ideas about what we wanted to do and um, our own ambitions, but we were also really surprised when we got to E3 in 2006 and we got so much good feedback and everyone was like, wow, this is going to be awesome. And uh, it just continued to grow and people have been really interested in what we're doing. So it's really exciting. I think the whole team, me included, we're all kind of perfectionists and set, put a lot of pressure on ourselves already. Uh, so I think, you know, it's also, it ad definitely adds a layer of, of like, oh my God, people are waiting for this. We better put in every extra effort we can. Um, but it's been, I don't think there's any like better job really than being producer on this kind of a game. Do you think that it has made a difference that you're an attractive woman in this very male dominant uh, business? 
attractive woman. Well, you know, I don't like I don't really think of myself as an attractive woman. I'm I just I'm a producer and I do my job and I think the the thing that's maybe been a, a bit different and everything is the same at work, you know, I'm just a person like working on the game just like every other person or every other producer working on other games. But um when I get interviewed by the media and stuff, I do get a lot of questions about being a girl and you know, there's a reaction to that, but I I kind of wish that it wasn't so different, you know. I wish that it, you know, it's kind of like being a Canadian and working on a game or being, you know, part Chinese and working on the game. It's it's just part of, you know, I'm a woman and I don't know, it gets a lot of attention for no reason in my opinion. Have you ever felt that you had to prove yourself as a woman in this business? Well, I think, you know, when I first started out my career, I was a programmer, which is even, there's even fewer women doing that job. Whereas as a producer, there's actually more women than you'd think. Um, and I remember my first interviews, I would always wear these really nerdy glasses and wear my shirt like buttoned up, you know, really nerdy shirt. How do you feel about becoming a celebrity? I think celebrity is exaggerated. I don't think I'm a celebrity. Um, I think, um, first of all, we need to see how Assassin's Creed does and um, and I think that you know games they're starting to be some people who are getting to be known because they're talking about games and more and more people are interested in games it's more mass market but um, there's so many people behind a game and uh, yes I'm the producer but you know there's 150 or actually 300 people who worked on Assassin's Creed and I think um, you know it's their work that's in the front it's the game that really is the important part all right. Well, I just want to finish off with uh, with telling you some of the comments that we've got from our viewers because they found out that we were going to come and interview you. Okay. And these are both questions, but also comments. They're like, um, "How old are you? Are you single? Can I have a <laughs> telephone number? Will you marry me? And do you like dark chocolate?" And what I do color? like dark chocolate. <laughs> All right. It's, dark chocolate is my biggest weakness, actually. <laughs> And um, were there, were there, um, is there going to be an Assassin's Creed movie where you play a part? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to act, so I think that would be a disaster. <laughs> um, is there a character in the game that looks like you? No, um, but there are a lot of the other people in the team. We did a we did a big casting because a lot of our characters are so realistic that we brought in real people, and uh, a lot of the other people in the team are in the game. But I didn't want to go. I think I get enough attention <laughs> talking about the game. As many people told you that you look like a princess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much for your time, Jade. Thank you. And good luck with Assassin's Creed. Thank you.